Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. <laughs> and that uh, was a hacked. I, I, I was listening to that, uh, Rob's one of Rob's new singles, and I started to learn to play it this morning. And probably should have practiced more before doing that. that you say it. you started to learn to play it, but you're on the single, playing a little bit of lead at the end I of know, that single. But, uh, I know, I, just, I don't... I, I, because literally, for that recording session, all I did was listen to the last 20 seconds of the song over and over and over again. I just hadn't really figured out what well, the Well, the tune is was. called Part of the Plan from Clockwork Wolf and Company on the new EP, In the Sunshine. And Lee is at the end playing a bit of lead, and it sounds really good. It was your first ever time it was. in the studio it was. doing some recording. It was good fun too. Yeah. But hey, you know what else is good we're fun? We're not here to plug Rob's uh, chart <laughs> success, are we? No. Um, well, welcome to 2019. <coughs> uh, oh yeah, we're in 2019 now. And uh, and the first of uh, a couple of uh, Black Star videos about some top secret products that we're not going to talk about other than these ones. Obviously. Don't talk about anything else other Don't than those. Don't talk about anything else other than those. So make sure you've subscribed to the Anderton's YouTube channel and you'll be the first to know about other things soon. But anyway, HT20. Um, what does this, HT stand for, Lee? Uh, that's a good, is it high tension? I thought it was hot. Hot, hot tube, high tension. Does anyone else in the room uh, know what HT stands for? High tension. High tension. Oh! oh! High tension what? In your face! Everyone else um, that didn't know the answer. So, uh, <laughs> what is, why, why is it all of a sudden now in my head I've got that um, danger, danger, high, high tension. tension. I know it's high voltage. When we touch. <laughs> anyway. I have no idea. Right, come on, back in the room. Okay. So, the Black Star range uh, has <clears throat> historically... Uh, for 11 years. Being split between the HT1 and the HT5 being part of the originally named HT series. They were great amps. Um, and the venue series took like the 20 watt up to the 100 watt mm. and they typically have different preamp sections and different features and blah, blah, blah. So the HT20 has... Uh, moved now so it's no longer part of the venue series and venue mark ii came out in 2017 uh, and so there's no 20 watt version in that now but it's been added to this revamped uh ht range um so it's a little bit smaller than it used to be mm. in physical size uh and it has more of the features that you'd expect to see on an on an ht product than on a venue product which is super cool. Uh, Rob is running the head into the new 2x12 vertical cabinet, which sounds fab. And I'm running uh, the 1x12 combo, and this will be the two formats that uh, the HT20 is gonna be available in. So Rob, may we please have a demonstration of- May we? May we, monsieur. Sure. Built-in tremolo, let's give some game. Sound. That was a Telecaster. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what on earth is going on, Blackstar? So, uh, new HD20 is two channels, 
uh, but now with two voices per channels and as has never been done before on the uh, smaller HT amplifiers, everything is now foot switchable. So um, clean channel with the voice one is in my opinion, quite fendery, you know, bit of a mid range scoop. Do you want to press a voice while I'm playing a chord? And then voice two. So when I'm shifting from voice one to voice two, uh, we're getting a, a, a few sort of EQ changes. You can kind of hear that, that voice one is a little bit more scooped, voice two is a bit more punchy. It's moving whereabouts the EQ occurs in the tone stack between the, uh, you know, relative to where the valve is. Voice one is before, voice two is after. It's doing some EQ changes to the power section as Do well. Do the same thing with the gain uh, setting. Yeah, sure. and then our gain section. Now I do, if I remember rightly here, that's right. So the clean channel just has a tone control for its EQ. We've got that about 12 o'clock. Once you go over to the overdrive channel, it opens up a, a three band EQ and, and Blackstar's ISF feature. Again, we've got everything you can see roughly 12 o'clock here. Uh, and I'll do the same where I change the voicing. So. is not familiar with Blackstar's ISF feature because it's been on their range for like 10 years or more. So I, I think most people know, uh, but in case you don't, stands for infinite shape feature. That was the one thing I knew and, that you took it away from me. I oh, sorry, told, man. I could have um, told them that one piece of knowledge. Their clever bit of marketing used to show, perhaps it still does, it used to show like a London taxi cab when it was turned all of one way and an American taxi cab <laughs> when it was turned all the other way. And basically what it was doing was it was a sort of a contour control for the EQ One of them section. smells of weed and one of them is really expensive, <laughs> is that the... <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so you can imagine the idea is it reshapes and voices the amplifier to either sound, you know, more conventionally British or more typically American. So, so we're American. We're American currently. <laughs> and now we're going to go proper Buckingham Palace. This is um, Prince Harry, <laughs> Meghan Markle. Markle, whatever her name is. Markle. Sorry, that's my uh, knighthood down there. And in the pain here will be uh, the child that she's expecting. And right. congratulations. That, yes, congratulations <laughs> to the royal family on their, <laughs> on their ISF centralised uh, child. That's greatly. Let's uh, try it with all the overdrive. Why not? And the voice. Like infinite can we, sustain. Can we, can we try it with a, a humbucker? Is it the infinite sustain guitar? feature? It could be. Uh, can we try it with a, with a humbucker guitar? All right then. Particularly that nice blue ghost friend. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Was that like that, like that little Dorje medley there? It was, was a it? little uh, de medley. De medley. Um, <laughs> let's talk about. There's another song. Sex, let's talk baby. About sex baby. Let's talk about let's Black talk about Star HT20. A and B. Let's talk about what the valves are in the power section. Unlike the uh, 
little one and the five watt uh, amplifiers that uh, you may know from the Black Star range, which use a single valve in a push-pull mode. More explained in another video that may or may not come out in a week or two. Um, this has two EL84s in the power section used completely conventionally in an AB tube um, configuration, producing our 20 watts here. Uh, and it's got, he says, referring to his notes, is it three or two tubes in the, it's got two tubes, two ECC83 or 12X7s, depending on what you like to call them, in the preamp section. Um, the whole EQ, you know, the whole preamp section is uh, valve uh, with a combination of some solid state sort of op amp kind of drive circuitry in there, which Blackstar do typically throughout the whole range. It's kind of like having a distortion pedal built into the amplifier. Um, that interacts with the, the valve preamp. Uh, it has a load of features on the back, which hopefully will get a nice sweep shot of now coming along the screen. So you can see you've got your USB output, which is a two track um, digital output. You can plug straight into your PC. You've got speaker emulation. What haven't you got, Lee? Effects loops, speaker outputs. Um, I don't know, actually, I've, I've completely forgotten. I might have to look. Don't look at my bum. Ah, uh, it's got the effects loop speaker outputs, uh, all the things I just said, and an MP3 input. I knew I'd forgotten something. Uh, these are different to the old HT1 and 5 in the sense that the DI output on this now is, uh, you have got a three pin balanced output as well as the jack output. <laughs> The amp has uh, this very clever 10% power reduction thing here, or the ability to reduce its power to, to 10%. Two. So this is 20 watts at the moment. Do you want to go distorted? Or Whatever you would like me to okay, do. I have to use this, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Really fun to I am reliably informed that the power reduction in here is something much cleverer than just normal voltage reduction to make the amp quieter. And I think that's why it still retains all of that fatness and gainy compression thing, even though it's absolutely bedroom level in its two watt mode. Mm. Um, you know what this reminds me of? An amp? No, go on, what does it remind you of? Ferris Bueller's Day Off mm. was filmed in a particular location in America, and the Ferris wheel was created and invented in exactly the same location, just like tone and volume were born in what created this. This amplifier is a combination of many things, all of which are great, and they sound really good. Wow. Deep. Um... The 212 <laughs> cabinet, I should say, and in fact, one of the things that's not in this particular video, and maybe in a video that uh, has been fictitiously made for next week. What are you talking um, about? I don't know. Uh, there's a this 112. This was forged in the fire of a, Blackstar's willpower. There's a 112 uh, cabinet as well, and they've both got this cool feature where a section of the back panel is uh, Velcroed in. Yeah. And you can, it's very, very tight <coughs> velcro. You, you can, can pull it apart. Pull it apart. They didn't make it strong enough. And you can make... Uh, the 212 cabinet or the 112 cabinet, either open back or close back. The 212 has Celestian 7080 speakers in them, uh, and the 112 and the 112 combo has uh, a Blackbird speaker, which is like a Blackstar own designed speaker. Um, in the same way that bananas are a herb and watermelons are actually a vegetable, this is your new leader. Great. Um, what did you say? Watermel watermelons are a vegetable? Yeah. Are they actually? Yeah, they're a vegetable. Yeah. Are all melons vegetables? Now, I can't tell you about all melons, but for sure watermelons <laughs> are definitely classified I mean, as presumably, a vegetable. Presumably, all melons are part of the same sort of fauna family, aren't Peanuts they? Peanuts are not a nut. They're a seed. They're a legume. A legume is French for vegetable. It is. So where are we going around with this? So peanuts are French vegetables. Yes. Bananas are classified as a herb. herbs. They did know that, yes. 
and watermelon as a vegetable. It's two EL84s. Watermelon? Wasn't he a famous eight actor? Eight plus eight is 16, and two fours is eight. It's a 16-8. Ferris Bueller. It's unbelievable. Tonal Overlord. It's unbelievable. The depths that we go to to research these products. Therefore, is, uh, aliens. Anyway, uh, I should just tell you how much these are going to be. Um, before, if any of you are Surely still it's 20,000 Imperial credits of the it realm. It is. The, uh, the combo is 649 watermelons and the head is 579 peanuts. Well, that's cheaper half the price. It certainly is. And I would gladly separate my Oh, and my the cab wooden, is 349 pounds. My wooden Wiltshire ingots for such a thing. 219 pounds if you want the one by 12. You know what though? What? In all seriousness, it's an amazing amplifier. Yeah, I, we um, can't possibly comment on any other videos we may have shot today, but we've had a very nice time trying- We uh, shot a lot of videos this today, This black star amplifier. Yes. Absolutely. I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been the captain. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Danger! Danger!